Hello and welcome to Alvarez vs. Meltzer, the show where I challenge the star rating of the one and only Dave Meltzer. My name is Ryan Alvarez and today we are taking a look at Chris Jericho versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat from WWE Backlash 2009. That can't be right. Uh, yeah. Actually, it is. Uh, Meltzer gave this match a three and a half star rating. Let's see if I agree. Um, obviously, just playing up the, the dramatic there. Uh, the match comes off the heels of WrestleMania 25, where you had Jericho squaring off with Steamboat, Jimmy Superfly Snuka, and Rowdy Roddy Piper in a three-on-one handicap elimination match. The star of the match, other than Jericho, uh, was actually Steamboat. Um, now, he was the last man on his team and would eventually lose to Jericho. Um, Steamboat would come out the next night, uh, thank Jericho for putting uh, the passion back within him and professional wrestling. Um, Jericho accused him of stealing his spotlight, and here we are, next month pay next month pay per view. Um, cat and mouse uh, from Steamboat leads to a diving crossbody uh, to the outside on Jericho. Uh, the you still got it chance echo through the arena. Uh, Steamboat hits a big arm drag. Jericho goes to throw Steamboat to the outside. He skins the cat, uh, but Jericho would eventually clothesline him out. Springboard dropkick puts Steamboat on the apron. Jericho with a sleeper. Steebo fights out and lands another big arm drag. Um, sensing a trend here. Uh, Jericho locks in a sleeper again. And even though Steamboat hits a back body drop, Jericho keeps the hold locked in. Jericho going for a bulldog, but Steamboat throws him into the corner instead. On the top turnbuckle, Steamboat hits a back body drop from the top rope for a near fall. Steamboat changing gears here, feeling the momentum shift now. Connects with an Orton-esque power slam for a near fall. Jericho with a step-up insecurity leads to a lion salt attempt, but Steamboat cuts him off, gets him on his shoulders. Jericho would roll through, uh, locks in the walls. JR kind of wink, wink. Um, says he's never seen Steamboat submit. Um... Steamboat counters clunkily into a figure four. It looked like he forgot, like, the steps in which you go to lock in the figure four. Um, he gets there, um, you know, so um, that was a thing. <laughs> um, Steamboat to the top now, big crossbody. Jericho barely kicks out. Jericho is making Steamboat look like a million bucks here. Steamboat goes for it again, but Jericho hits a code breaker out of nowhere. Goes for the pin, but Steamboat gets his foot on the rope. Um, Jericho not playing around anymore. Quickly locks in the walls, and he taps out. Um, Steamboat does get a standing ovation on his way out. With that being said, do I agree with Dave Meltzer? I do not. Um, I've got this at three stars out of five. Uh, it, it was a good match, um, but there were too many... Uh, slower movements that kind of killed uh, the pace that this match, I think, was trying to get to. Um, Steamboat can still go at this point, and um, I'm glad he got at least a, another singles match after WrestleMania. Um, the figure four box was kind of laughable in a way, um, but outside of that, it was a mostly clean match and a pretty good one to boot. What did you think about this match? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe, as well as visiting our other social media links in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on Alvarez vs. Meltzer.